Oh, we're blue again. Starting off blue. All right. Oh, come on now. All right, front view, start a sketch. Let's get looking right at it. You can draw a circle starting at the origin. You have a diameter of one inch. And we're going to extrude that. Oops, moving faster than on shape. Oh, there we go. Accidentally created two extrudes moving too quickly. All right. Extrude that uh, depth of 0.3. Hit check. All right. We got a little disc here. What we're going to do is on the front face, we're going to sketch the uh, profile for a uh, gear tooth right here at the 12 o'clock position. So you want to do a sketch on this face. Uh, and you're going to do a line. Just straight up the middle there we're going to use this as a construction line uh, that we'll use to help kind of draw the dimension for our tooth now these next steps I want you to do without creating a lot of constraints um, I'm going to turn my line tool on and what you're going to do is just go straight over up over these can be horizontal, but you're creating this trapezoid here. All right, and then this line we, we want to be uh, horizontal in this instance. Oh, turn off your line tool. Let's make that line horizontal. Okay, awesome. So now what we're going to do is dimension the distance that this line needs to be from this line. Actually, we're probably going to have to add an extra constraint here, but... Uh, make that 480. We're going to make this distance to the top of the tooth 0.6. From the center of the circle to the top of the tooth will be 0.6. This angle right here from that top line will be 75 degrees. And the angle from this line here will be 75 degrees as well. All right, and then we will dimension this top half to 0.02. Okay, and then we'll dimension this bottom half to point. Actually, we won't dimension it because we've got the angle there. So what we all we have to do now is this, this blue line is the only thing that's undefined. So we could min, dimension it out to 0.02. But since we know that tooth will probably stay symmetric, let's just go ahead, you know, no matter what changes we make, it, the tooth will probably stay symmetric. Let's just go ahead and make that equal. All right, now we have a fully defined gear tooth, um, and we're good to go. Now, did this line switch back to a non-construction line? We want that a construction line. Okay. All right. You've got a fully defined gear tooth at the 12 o'clock position of your gear. Everything's ready to go to draw the profile on the back of the gear. However, before we do, we are going to, I guess, preemptively plan for that by creating another construction line here headed towards the 11 o'clock position. And we're going to dimension that to be 10 degrees away from this other construction line. There's other workarounds. Uh, for why we're using this. I'm not sure why I want to do it this way. I just do front tooth profile is what we will call this sketch. And I'm just going to label it sketch. This makes scanning that design tree easier, uh, even though the symbols do allude to what it is. All right. And now what we want to do is go straight to the rear. So 
come over here back we're looking at the back of our gear now you can see the sketch uh, from the front and you can see this angle which is now towards the one o'clock position that we that we made reason we made that is we're going to sketch the same profile centered on this line here and then that'll will loft those two profiles together to give us that angled tooth that gears have now I can't just use this entity because it's sketched on the front on that plane on the front of the disc. And we want that entity on our current sketch plane. There's a tool for this. Once we're in sketch and once we clarify that we want to be right on this back face of extrude one for our sketch, uh, what we can do is we can select this line and we can actually select use. And what that'll do is, is pretty much just move that three-dimensionally through across the planes so that we can make use of it, project it uh, in this sketch. And what you're going to do on this sketch is you're going to sketch the same tooth profile. Again, watch your constraints as you go. This one, we don't want anything to be horizontal. It can be perpendicular to that center line, but any horizontal or vertical constraint will mess us up, or even this one right here wants to lock it there so um, I mean I'm just gonna go ahead and, and and you can still sketch it out what will happen is as you start adding the dimensions that I specify something might come up red you can always just click show constraints take some problem solving some troubleshooting and some experimenting that's how you learn and turn those off all right and what we're going to do is dimension everything the same thing but i'm just going to go ahead and say that this line has to be parallel to that line so that they're the same and then that those two i think are already defined as parallel to each other i'm going to start the same way i did before with the height and make the bottom of it from the center uh, 0 0.480 and then we're going to make the top of it from the center 0.60 okay and we can make this angle 75 degrees and we can make this angle 75 degrees and then we can make this dimension point oh two and again I guess I could have done this with the angles as well. Let's go ahead and set those equal. And now we have this tooth profile is done as well. I'm going to name this rear tooth profile sketch. And we're good to go with both of those. Now, next thing we're going to do is loft those sketches into each other. Pretty simple. It is a uh, solid. It is going to add the material to it. It asks for the profiles. I'm going to select this profile and select that profile. And then you can see a tooth has popped up. We're going to go ahead and name that gear tooth and hit check. All right, now we need multiple teeth. So what we're going to do is make a pattern with that. We're going to do a circular pattern. The circular pattern is a feature pattern. So right here, you've got a feature pattern in features to pattern. We can come over here and select gear tooth. And then we know that we want to pattern that feature. Then we have to pick this. Um, you don't want to pick the that face. Um, you actually want to pick this circular edge. See, I've messed this up a couple of times. Okay, nope, that's wrong. That face will work as the axis. And what we want is 22 instances, equally spaced. And I don't know if it'll preview it for us. There we go. We got the preview. The preview looks okay to me. I'm going to hit the green check, and we're good to go. The only thing this gear is missing now is a shaft hole and a key slot. So let's go ahead and just add that real quick. Pretty simple. We're going to look right at our front plane. We're going to go ahead and add a... Um, I always forget what button it is that clears all your selections. I have to look into that for next time. Add a sketch, and we're going to do a circle right in the middle here. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, I missed my mark. If that happens, all you have to do is select that. Select that point. 
uh, make sure the circle tool is turned off and create a concentric relationship there. All right, and let's give that circle a dimension of point 0.4. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and sketch another center line here. Reason being is we're going to draw that keyway. Um, and so I'm just going to make that a center line. And then I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm just going to use the line tool to draw this keyway. I'm just going to start not at the midpoint there. Um, here. All right, and then I'm just gonna make that horizontal. All right, and then I'm actually going to click one, two, three, and hit symmetric. Okay, and what that'll do is just make sure that everything stays symmetric there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and dimension that keyway to be the bottom of this, be 0.15. And then the top of it, I'm going to go ahead and make that to be um, 0.25. You have to be, bear with me here. My rough outline here is from a SolidWorks tutorial, and they did their dimensioning a little different uh, than I planned on doing mine. Uh, and then I'm just going to say that this line has to be, actually, I'm not going to. It's already symmetric, so I know they have to be equal. So what I can go ahead and do is just dimension this to 0 0.04, or yeah, 0 0.04. All right, now everything's fully defined, except we do want these lines to be uh, const uh, not construction lines. We want them to be actual lines. So let's go ahead and... Um, hit Q. Okay, and now they're actual lines. All right, and here's where things get tricky a little bit. Uh, we got a few too many lines in there. And when we start trimming, we can remove some of our associations with like this height and everything else. So we have to think about that. I can get rid of this. Yep, and the sketch becomes blue. And that's because we lost our bottom dimension and we lost everything else. So uh, let's just go ahead and do this for time's sake. Let's just go ahead and add. Um, let's go ahead and trim this completely. We know all the dimensions are right because we were just had it. And we could probably there's a, there's a, there's better ways to do this. Um, but this will work. And we're good to go. Let's go ahead and extrude. Remove and just select through all. Okay, and you have a gear.